Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao, and I hope you're all doing well today. This, as you can see, is a pair of Boondocker service style boots. This time from Emerging Shoemaker, Kiatoko Handmade. For those of you who are unaware of Kiatoko, they're a brand new brand hailing from Indonesia via Singapore. CKEO is the uh, brainchild and manages the brand from Indonesia. He's sort of the idea guy behind the brand. And Tomas over in Indonesia in the Bandung region. Who, and I decided to join a stitch down premium discord GMTO called the Wheaties GMTO because we're using a Horween wheat chamois reverse leather. So this is the rough outside of their wheat chamois leather. Chamois, chamois, uh, call it what you may. I go with the French pronunciation if that's a thing. Uh, I think a lot of people probably in the boot world probably know it better as chamois leather. But bottom line is this leather in this is the rough outside of that leather used to make a various different models. Viberg has used this specific similar makeup. Others have done similar things. This is a beautiful boot. Katoko decided to use their service boot last in collaboration with a number of members from the Stitch Down Discord Indonesian Boots channel. And essentially nine of us came together to order this pair in some subtle variations. Some people chose different eyelets and speed hooks. Some people chose a rough out versus a smooth leather tongue contrasting tongue and uh, there was options given in terms of whether or not you wanted a unstructured partially structured or structured toe here Kiatoko is unique in that they use largely leather componentry including heel stiffeners that are both leather in the heel as well as toe stiffeners that are leather um, they are capable of offering a personalized last but i believe this was a essentially a typical last, a standard of their lasts, maybe adjusted slightly to people's foot shape. So we all submitted our sizes in various shapes and they chose the specific uh, last size for us. And most people have come away happy. I will say that this pair, as you can see, has this little hump here that creates a fair bit of space above my foot here, the top of my foot here. So for people who have high insteps, meaning either a high arch or a very high instep that is creating more uh, volume at the top of your foot, this is going to be a great model for you. For those of you who have medium insteps or lower insteps, this might be a challenge of a model. So you may want to talk to Kiatoko about which last you would choose. It's a very sharp last, essentially a almond toed last similar to the Viberg 2030. You can see that the stitch work done here is really done immaculately on the upper. They have done a really nice job of selecting leather panels that complement the different portions of this shoe. So the front of this shoe has a finer nap to it, same leather than say the collar here, which has a slightly rougher nap to it and the heel uh, that also has a slightly rougher nap, but all in all, this is a leather that people have adored and enjoyed in the boot community because it is a leather that will patina and darken over time. And they used a gentle contrast stitching and a 270 degree flat welt. Now, Kiatoko is capable of many different welt styles. They were some of the makers behind some of the welt styles that uh, Midas released, I believe. But what I really like about them is they have really taken the lasts and created these organic lasts that are not just your boring kind of standard lasts that sometimes I will see from brands. I hate to say it, but Grand Stone, for example, has a much more generic last. Might work for more people, but this last also has this kind of somewhat grippy heel that catches. I think it's really good for people with who want more heel support and uh, when they're walking, no heel slip. Um, and also a very tight collar here. So this is actually a shoe that takes a little bit of effort to get on, but once it's on, it really feels like it's secure. And then there's a fair bit of space in this toe box, despite it having a more trim, elegant profile. We do have our typical eight eyelet design here, but all in all, I think a really nice execution of a pattern. 
with the Dr. Uh, Soul 1220 Soul and Heal Oil Resistant Souls, a natural edge dressing and a very smart block heel with a very symmetric stacked leather heel. As I mentioned, a block heel, so not much of a taper here or here. It's a standard block heel, but everything you'd want in a very clean, elegant design. Only other features I think might be notable is that this collar, the shape of this collar is actually quite elegant. If I put the shoe up, you can almost see that it has this curved approach. Some shoes have more downsloping. Occasionally you'll see some shoes that have more of an upslope. I really like that curved feel and it feels great on my foot when it's on. They also do recessed stitching. So they carve a little channel in the outsole here and then they stitch along that. You can just see that the stitching is done is quite clean with a medium to medium high stitch density for the boot world. Sure fine nap on the toe box. You can see almost looks like a suede, but you go the other way and it has that rough out look to it. Very fine here, maybe slightly more fine on this than this, but subtle. And then over here, you see this more rough nap here and a medium rough nap here. So I really like how they did that. Um, I'm looking forward to taking this boot through its journey. Kia Toko is a emerging brand really one worth your attention because their quality and attention to detail is unparalleled. Their interest in working with their customers, their turnover and ability to get shoes out in a reasonable time frame, all of these things are quite exceptional. So I think that if you get this order of boot from them, you'll have the boot within your hands within about a three-ish month time frame. At this point, that's going to probably change over time. They're willing to work with you on GMTOs, and I'm actually going to be sharing a second video on another GMTO that I am thinking about here in the near future from a model that they sent me on my customized last. So if I had one criticism, that would be the criticism. Otherwise, I think that unflinchingly, this is one of the nicest, clean design, plain toe service boot models I would have ever come to expect from any maker. I will say that the styling from Kia Toko is a little less um bias towards some of the things you see from indonesian makers with more bulbous curved shapes kind of more aggressive styles they have a more neutral approach which i really like um, they have some details here that are really elevated to the level of dress shoe making and so i think that they have a level of precision and detail that if you enjoy precision and detail in your makeups in terms of the stitching the quality control the designs of the last a slightly more dressed up yet rugged robust boot this is going to be a great bet for you so give kia toko handmade a look on instagram and i think you will not be disappointed hope you're all doing well and i will catch up with you in the near future feel free to leave any questions or comments or thoughts in the comments below this video and uh, i'll try to answer them have a good one okay take care and goodbye